Hi everybody, so I am told by very reliable sources that this stuff, olive oil, makes a brilliant substitute for lamp oil for both lamps and heaters. And if you think about it, it sort of makes sense. I mean, this is the stuff that the Romans used in all of their lamps, and apparently it's actually a bit cheaper than lamp oil, and it smells nice. Birds with a bright flame, and it's subtless, so there's a lot of things recommending it, and it's got a few things that are a bit of a PIA about the whole thing. It's quite viscous. So if you put a wick in there, the wick can't be very far from the surface of the oil, otherwise it won't wick up the oil, and it'll just gutter out and you don't get anything from it. And that, of course, is a serious drawback. Particularly if you want a great big vat of oil, so you're not having to refill the thing all the time. So I was thinking about that, and I was thinking, well, is there a way that we could actually get this to wick so that we could have a big vat of it and not have to have the flame so close to the level of the oil? And I think I've come up with a way. So what you need is a can of peas and a can of beans. I love using these kind of things actually because anybody can get them really, really easily. So empty a can of peas, strip it off, wash it out and drill a whole load of 9mm holes around the top so that you get that. Once you've got that, empty and wash your can of beans, and then about there you want to cut that ring off. Obviously take the top off, cut the ring off, and drill a load of six millimeter holes around it, so you get that. Now, in order to use this, we need a wicking material. I'm going to use this stuff. This is uh, carbon felt. It's 100% carbon felt. We use it a lot if you're a watcher of the channel and you'll know that because it's um, really great. But it does something else. When a flame burns on it, it doesn't burn but it does get hot and it transmits that heat into the liquid that it's dipping into and in this case of course it's going to be the olive oil. That extra heat will make this less viscous and enable it to wick. So what we want to do with this is line the inside with the carbon fat. When we've done that, we get that. And then this ring here, you pop in there to press the carbon felt against the sides and you put it about two millimetres, a millimetre or two below the surface of the carbon felt wick. So that it's like that. And then we can put olive oil in there. So that is the heart of the beast and she's ready to go. Now it can be a little difficult to get it going. So what I tend to do is put a bit of methylated spirits or ethanol or something like that around there. Say about a couple of milliliters. That will light it, heat that carbon, then that will heat the oil and the oil will be drawn up. These are extra air holes. They don't burn through there. They pull air in from the outside to help keep that blue flame. Now I want to make either a lamp or a heater out of this. So I've got this, it's a cake tin with a load of 9mm holes drilled in it. We'll pop that in the cake tin and set a light to it. Got a couple of other things. I've got this, which is an old metal funnel that I've chopped off. And I've got this, which is another can with loads of holes in it. So we're going to put the metal funnel on there. And that's going to be a part of the general design. I mean, I could fasten that, I could weld that, I could glue it, whatever. At the moment I'm just going to rest it while we light that flame. So, sometimes I do a thing, and I've done it loads of times before, so I know it's going to work. Sometimes it's the very first time I've done it, so I haven't got a clue that it's going to work. This time, I've practiced it a couple of times, so I've got an idea it's going to work, and that the oil burns all the way down. It could be a bit of a bucket to start. So I put a couple of millilitres of methylated spirits on there, which is ethanol with pink colour and something to make you vomit. And then we can light that up and watch it go. We'll just give that a couple of minutes for the ethanol to burn away and for it to actually be the olive oil that's burning. You'll know because it goes from a blue flame to a yellow flame. Okay, and then she is a beautiful yellow flame and we can pop that on there. Now, there's a couple of things you can do with this. You can grab yourself a toilet roll holder and if you pop that on there, what you've got is a room heater and I can tell you that gets up to temperature really quickly about a minute or two and it's round about oh hey a couple of hundred degrees easily the other thing of course and the reason people like these things so much 
is because it's a lamp. And we can turn that into a lamp. <laughs> and of course, if you really want to go OTT, you can do something like find a big lantern like this and stick it in a lantern. go people an olive oil lantern that will burn all the way down even though the wick actually isn't floating on it and I've tested this a couple of times it really does burn all of that olive oil now I've used olive oil I think it's still a little sooty myself but olive oil is not supposed to be uh, I guess we could try vegetable oil even maybe use to oil. put this out I've got myself a lid and you snuff it like a candle I hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe hey Luke yeah want to come feel Christmassy <laughs> yeah come look at this Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what That's fun awesome. it is to ride on a horse and sleigh! Hey! That's awesome! Look at that.